Hey everyone, Kiki here with Canon Studios and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be doing a part two of printing large props and here I have my mostly finished staff that I have been working on so this is just going to be a continuation of part one. If you're interested to see the first part of the video please feel free to also check that video out as well or you can just continue with this video. I already have my pieces printed and I'm basically going to be going over the process of assembling and fusing it together and creating a nice clean cohesive piece from the two separate pieces. So if this is something that interests in you, please stick around. Alright, so I got my two pieces off the Saturn here and they look pretty good. I have them on my wham bam plate so they pop off pretty easily and I just have my small little peg pieces that I printed on the side. So after I get my pieces off and everything cleaned up. When I was originally filming this, I did not have a big enough container, so I just used what I had, but I had since ordered something else for these. I'm just going to go ahead and use alcohol just to clean everything off, and then I usually just let it dry, and if I don't see any kind of shiny appearance on the surface, it's usually good to go and put under the UV light. I might need to do another wash or two, just depending, but once it looks pretty smooth and there's no shiny, it's usually good to go. And as you can see, these definitely do not fit together as well as I would have liked. I printed these straight off the bottom of the print, so it just seems like there was a bit of smushing so all the holes are kind of tight, there's a bigger gap than I would have liked, and it is a little bit trickier to put in the pegs. However, I don't really want to waste this print and do a reprint, so it's just going to be a lot of extra cleanup, but I think that I can get it to work, even though it will be extra work. The print was relatively long, and I would rather fix it than just start all over again, and also just saving on materials. So. I'm going to go ahead and just exacto out the holes a little bit bigger just to get these to kind of fit in here. So these are the pegs to kind of assemble it together as a guide so it doesn't shift around when I am fusing these pieces together so it doesn't slide and it's going to help kind of keep that structure. So after I get all my pieces pretty cleaned up, I'm just going to kind of put them together the best way possible with the least amount of gap, which seems like this is going to be the closest ideal way to do that. So I'm just going to take a little bit of resin on each little piece and put in my pegs and then cure it. And when I was doing this, I was just doing it out of my just do it yourself UV light chip box, as some of you may have seen in some of my other videos. But I have since actually got a little UV flashlight, which has been very useful that I use, and then I don't have to use my giant box anymore. So after I get all these little pieces in, and I cure them, just make sure everything fits together and of course be sure to wear safety eye if you need it, safety eyewear as well as gloves if you need it. I'm not really getting any resin on my hands so for this part I am not wearing any gloves because I don't quite need them. So to get this to stay pretty level I'm going to use some popsicle sticks so it doesn't fluctuate and bend so it's more stable and then I'm going to be able to just put some of the resin and fill in these gaps and try to seal it up to try to get it back to one piece and look seamless 
as if it was never two pieces hopefully if we can get there that is definitely the goal so I did go back and forth a lot between doing a little bit and then curing it and a little bit and curing it if you add too much on it and it doesn't give it time to cure it tends to just run and get a little globby um, so I like to do it in layers instead of just a lot at once all right, so far it looks pretty sloppy and not great. Um, when the resin looks kind of like the darker shade, it's just been sitting out for a while. It's still usable. It's fine, but it, it is a little bit clumpier, I guess you could say. It's been out a lot longer, been sitting out. But I've still been able to use resin this way and not have any issues for cleaning up my prints. And I'm just going to take... Um, pieces from the supports and I'm going to use these little pieces I'm going to just cut them up into little chunks so that I can use them as filler in these edges and just put the liquid resin around the cured pieces of resin to help as my filler now the pieces are going to be sticking out a little bit and it's not going to be super clean but once this is cured, I'll be able to start cleaning it up and we'll hopefully get to a smoother finished product. Alright, now that I have pretty much everything all filled in, I'm just going to cut out any of the excess that's sticking out in any of the shirt pieces with my snips and just try to get it as close to possible to the prop without cutting into the actual prop area. But the nice thing is, if you do happen to mess anything up or you find that you need more filler, you can always do clean up and go back in and add more resin and keep going back and forth through this process until you come up with something that you're happy with. All right, so don't judge me for my socks and sandals. I literally just came out here to Dremel this piece. So after I got the big chunks off, I'm just gonna take my Dremel and lightly go over these pieces to kind of sand over these big welding marks to get it a lot smoother and just kind of shape it out to hopefully look cohesively like one piece like it is supposed to be. And there definitely was a lot more work to go into the cleanup process and getting these pieces together just because the print did not come out perfectly as I printed directly onto the piece instead of using support. So it did kind of smush the top part a little bit. So there is a little bit more work that I'm having to do than normal, but it doesn't mean that the print is unsavable. It can easily be saved and easily cleaned up into looking more like a complete finished piece. Sans, I what? You're so loud. I'm recording my video. All right, I got most of it pretty cleaned up. As you can see, there's still a lot of areas um, from here on out, I'm going to go ahead and do some sanding by hand and just start with a higher grit and slowly go down and work through the grit to a fine sandpaper to get it nice and smooth and just clean it up. And as you can see, just from already getting a lot of the big chunks off of there and cleaning up the line, it's already looking like one nice salad cohesive piece without really telling that it was two pieces and that it was had a original giant gap in between. 
So overall, I would say it's looking really, really clean. And I do have to clean out this whole part a little bit more just to fit my dowel in here. It was just a little bit too tight. All right, so it fits on there nicely now. And this is kind of the finish cleanup here for the most part. And I might have to go back a little bit more before I do my painting, but overall, I think it looks really good. I still have to do some work on the bottom and stuff and finish painting it. So I painted the crown and finished that for this costume. It's based on Montable's Black Queen design. And I also printed the transparent gem with my Saturn as well. And as you can see, the prop still has a little bit of unevenness in the center, but I wasn't really too worried about cleaning this part of the prop just because there is going to be a piece that's going to go there and cover it up. So I guess I could have went in and did more with it, but I wasn't really going to worry about doing the extra effort for no reason. So overall, I think it came out really, really well, and I really liked the paint that I did with it, and I'm pretty happy with the overall results. Hey guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and sticking around for another video. I have a few other videos coming out really soon. I am going to be doing a water resin review video as well as a slicing resin video working with Chudu Box that comes with the Illigo printers. So hopefully you guys go ahead and sub and give me a follow if you're interested in some of those videos. I've been meeting to get them out sooner, but I've been quite busy this month and past month, but hopefully I'll be making more videos soon. And of course, a special thank you to all my continued supporters on Twitch. Thank you so much for supporting me. And if you'd like to check out my streams, just go head over to twitch.tv slash kikicanon and go ahead and give me a follow. I don't quite have a schedule. I just kind of show up as I feel like I want to stream. So feel free to hang out with me here in the studio. And hopefully you guys have a good one. Thank you.